Hey guys, Brian here and jacked up Bailey over there. He's not doing good, but he's trying. So, hope for the best, shop boss. Anyway, he's down here today hanging out with me and I'm gonna try and fix up this digital readout for the last time. So I had it unplugged for a while. When I plugged it back up, it wouldn't come on again. And I'm pretty sure that the corrosion in these traces on the back of this board this is gonna be what the main problem is. So rather than re-soldering all this and adding a bunch of jumper wires to fix all these traces, I think my time is better spent just putting a different board in here. So $25 later on eBay, I've got a very similar board. It's not just exactly the same. But the main deal is, is according to the side of it, it's got the same volt outputs and amp outputs. Uh, slightly more amp output actually than the other one, which I figure is a good thing. As what I'm replacing, so this should work. I just got to figure out which pins match up and modify this connector and get it hooked up. So. I'm gonna get the voltmeter and I'll figure out what this thing's outputting and uh, on which posts and get this wire switched up and give it a try. Well, I switched my pin wires around to make it match the original one. So that's the plug that came with the new one. I didn't use it because there's no color code to the wire so it's difficult to trace them. So I used the one that was with the original board. That plugs up the same. So, it's a moment of truth. Let's hit the switch. Well, we got life again. So it's powering up, so I've at least improved it from what it was. Let me get it back on the machine and we'll see how it goes. Well, there it is, on and working. It even breeds both axes. So hopefully that's progress and that'll cut, solve that problem, getting that, rid of that corrosion on the board. A lot of people had said replace all the capacitors. They thought that was a problem, but uh, capacitors look fine. Maybe they were a problem, maybe they are a problem. But uh, I got a lot of electronic equipment that's older than what this is by quite a bit. And I got the original capacitors and I haven't had any problems out of it. I don't find it to be as big a problem as it seems to be on the internet. But uh, for now it's going. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, I've turned the DRO on and off dozens of times over the last week and it's uh, worked every time. So this time I'm actually pretty confident that it's fixed as opposed to the last time when I didn't know what happened to it as to why it started working again and was just leaving it on. But now I can turn it on and off and it actually works. And the scales are all hooked up. And they're reading correctly. So you might notice I look taller now. The lay is actually sitting on the floor. We got it down on the six by sixes. So be video on that coming and getting this thing leveled up. But for now, that's it on this DRO. I'm glad it's up and working like it's supposed to. And I gotta go take care of Bailey. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Catch y'all later.